All right, round one, we're starting. I kept all seven, and I'm just gonna start with the swamp and pass. Perfect. Yeah. All right, we'll draw. Seems like really nice value. It is. I think when I was looking through this deck, I was... Let's go ahead. Well, we got the bug bear turn one. And also pass. All right, draw. I will play a mountain tap, play a witch's oven, and pass. Cool, what's witch's oven do? Oh, I could sacrifice a creature by tapping this and make a food token, if it's... Cool. Yeah, toughness four or greater? Yeah, I can make two if it's toughness oh, four or greater. Nice. Alright, draw. Oh boy, this is gonna be... <laughs> interesting. Play my other den. What? That's crazy. I know. That's a good one too. Foiled out. And I will tap one. Play Kamado. Okay. I'll take one damage. Mm -hmm. I'll throw a little counter on that and it's to you. Alright. Untap. Draw a card. I will play a Swamp. Tap three. Play Fable of the Mirror Breaker. This goes to one. I make a 2-2 two, two Goblin. Yes. And I will pass. Cool. Doesn't the goblin... It makes treasures makes when treasures, it attacks. Yeah. That's right. Draw. Okie dokie. I will... Play a mountain. Sorry, that ticked over to two. Yep. And then I will tap one. Swift Spear, and then I will tap two, and stomp the token. Okay. So that's an exile, to be played later. Yes. And then uh, this triggered prowess, so swing it in for two. Alright, I'll go to 17 then. Yep. Or actually, wouldn't it be three because it got the 1-1 counter? Oh yeah, 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 thank you. Alright. I will untap then. I will draw a card. Uh, this ticks up to two. I'm gonna discard two cards. And I'm gonna draw two cards. Cool. So two lands. Alright. I'll tap two. Play Blood Tith Harvester. That's going to make a blood token. And then I'm going to tap one, play Blood Chief's Thirst on your Swift Spear. Cool. Destroy target creature. Mana costs two or less. Yep, yep. Alright. And I will pass it to you. Untap. That'll take it over to three. I'll flip that over first and then do my draw. Alright. Well, I guess you would probably draw first before I? I wasn't sure. I thought it happens like right in the upkeep. Yeah, I'm not sure actually, now that I think about it. Probably says on the other side, we can check later. Well, it, uh, it probably doesn't matter for this point, I hope. I don't think it would. Yeah. <laughs> it would either be right after the draw or right before the draw, so I'm not sweating it. Okay, I will play a Remnant Ruins. And then, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap one, play Ascendant Spirit. You go to Prosher, so I think for one, do it. Okay. Yeah, tap three, play Chandra. Oh. Okay. And then I will. Uptick her for well. Which one do I want to do? Let me just grab a couple more dice. Sorry, I'm playing slow. But oh, you're fine. Yeah. First game of the day. Exactly. If you can have some dust. Yeah. Um, up ticker uh, to exile. So I'm going to exile card. Okay. And then we'll see what happens. So, so that exile is your top card? Exile top card of your library. If it's red, I can cast it this turn. Oh. 
just cast it this turn, then not like any discount turn. or anything. If it does, if it's a land, um, it goes straight to my graveyard. If it's um, if I don't cast it, I don't cast it. It goes to your graveyard if it's a land. Yeah, because it's cast, not play. Yeah. I just assumed it stayed in exile or something. No, I think it's just that it's um, this turn. So it says you may cast it this turn. So after if after this turn ends, if I cast it or not, it's gone. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't think. Well, I, uh, I guess it would stay in exile. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what that's I'm thinking. Fine. I don't think it would go from exile yeah, to yeah, the yeah, graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So I'm at. I got that. Um, yeah, I like it. So I'll tap that. Play it. Sure. And I'll take a damage from that. Yep. Yeah. Swing it in for two. All right. I go to thirteen. To you. All right. Untap. That was lucky. I will draw a card. I will play a swamp. I am going to tap one, play another witch's oven. Oh wait, oh, uh, before that, I guess this ticks over and <laughs> this becomes the kiki jiki. There we go. And I will pay one mana. I'm gonna play Claim the Firstborn, so I can gain control of a creature three mana value or less. Okay. I'll pick this one. I'm pretty sure it untaps and get. Well, let me look it up because I can't read this. And yeah, it's in Japanese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Claim the Firstborn. You just like one cost steal a creature for end of turn. Yeah, end okay. of turn. Cool. Tapped. That sucks. Yeah, untap that creature. It gains haste until end of turn. Cool. It's this card right here. So I'll just grab that for... Yep. Untap that creature, gains haste on the turn. Haha, <laughs> already had haste. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I didn't need the haste. All right, so I'll tap both these, throw match Chandra. Cool. I can't defend her. Yep. All right. And second main phase, I'm going to tap this, sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I'll get a food token. Cool. So maybe I'll use a different color die for the food tokens. You gotta get some tokens. Yeah, I mean, th- these work all right. They're just a little hard to decipher what yeah. is what. Blood Sorry. token, right? Blood token, food, food token. token. And then we'll, if we get a treasure token involved, we'll have to. Uh, don't worry, I'll use this. There we go. D8. Okay, you're good, you're good. <laughs> all right, um, and I will pass to you. <laughs> So cool that you, you're probably going to be stealing and um, and sacking. I see that as like a good engine. Maybe. 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 I was thinking of doing some funny stuff with copying this guy, making more blood tokens. Not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have one card in hand, so that's 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 a good omen. Yeah. yeah. Unless you have the same card. <laughs> could, could be anything. A mountain. That seems legit. And. Let's do that. Tap four. Make this a 3-2 goblin creature with whenever this creature attacks. Um, create a 1-1 one, one oh, red goblin yeah, yeah. token. Uh, okay. It's tapped and attacking. It's still a land. Sure. Um, well, actually, hold on. That, that play, also this, this that takes two. Too. So I need to use it, and I don't think it would yeah. give it. No, so, no. No, no, no. I'll, just, I'll, I'll cast this. Okay. Save Den-, Den of the Bugbear for a later date, just so I can give the token, uh, the plus one, plus one to that. Yeah, sure. And he doesn't have haste to you. Okay. So that is a 5-4 right now. It is. All right, untapping, draw my card. All right, I will tap, make those, so choose a color. All right. I think I will pay two mana, play Tenacious Underdog. And then I'm going to pay one mana. I'm going to tap Kikijiki to copy Blood Tith Harvester. So uh, pretend this dice is uh, another one of those. Okay. And he has haste and gets sacrificed at the next end step. And then I'm going to pay one mana, and I'm going to claim the firstborn on your three drop. 
You had it in hand. I, yeah, I had another one. <sighs> I, I was thinking of discarding it on that, but you know, I didn't Well, that'll happen. Yeah, so five damage, three damage, so eight. Oh, that guy doesn't have haste. So, 11 damage. Okay. Yeah, 11 damage. Yep. Um, I eat it, so I go to nine. All right. And then second main phase, I'm going to Witch Oven, sacrifice this. Since it has four toughness, I get two food tokens. And I'm also going to tap this turn this into a food token instead of sacrificing it end of turn. So okay. this goes to four food tokens. And I will pass to you. Okay. Untap. Draw. This goes over to three. Good opening hand. The, that, that, that's that's savage stealing. Yeah, I forgot I have two blood tokens because I had another one of these enter. My bad. Might as well, man. <laughs> yes, I, I mean it helps for his <laughs> ability. Okay. Mountain. Um, Tap four. Make a bugbear a thing. And I'll swing in with. Uh, okay. I'm going to block the one one that it creates, yep. so I'll take five damage. I, mean, I brought a token, but it's not going to live anyway. <laughs> He's in here. I just want to have him on the table. There that, that's fair. There's there. my one one. Hey. There, there he is. <laughs> yep. Okay. So he doesn't survive, but yep. you take. Yep, five. I took five damage. Perfect. Great. To you. Yep. All right. And that becomes a uh, land again. Uh, non creature land. Yep. All right. Draw my card. All right. I'll pay a mana. I'm going to tap this to make a copy of that guy. That gives me another blood token. And then. I'm going to use his tap ability since he has haste and target that guy. Cool. I just want to see it. It'll get minus six, minus six. Yeah, it's a. Twice the number of blue tokens. Nice. And this okay. guy's. And um, combat phase. I'll attack with both these guys. Cool. For six damage. I go to three. All right. Second main phase. I'll pay a mana. I'm going to play village rights on my tenacious underdog. And that draws me two cards. Cool. And I'll play my land for the turn and pass. I don't think there's a chance Stop that I can me. save this. I would scoop or whatever, but let's see what happens. It's all well, my eight health. You might have the burst. I don't know if I have that much burst. I feel like the bug bear is a good way for squeezing out damage too. This guy? Yeah. Sure. So I was thinking I of four, throwing four, five, six. I was thinking of throwing that card in this deck too, in place of I don't have enough mana. I could, I could get you pretty close, I guess, but I don't think I have enough mana. I don't want to just scoop. That's why I want to see if there's a way out of this. Yeah. I doubt it. Have you seen a vault sleeper? I don't know if that, like... I don't think so. What does it ring a bell? It's kind of like a Sunday series of Vermont Black. Okay. So you can, like, have a yeah. vault right. once and turn it into, like, a 2-2 two, two 
I don't got it. Okay. It's close. I could do the I could do six damage to you right now, and then I think that was as far as I would get, yeah. and then that would be the end of that. So and I could always sacrifice a food token too. That's true. Yeah. That's like three health, I believe. No worries. Good game. Yep. I had a stop. I had. Um, could have done the bugbear, and that would have been worth four. Wouldn't have really helped me live. That's ne fair. Needed a little more. I actually was very mana flooded. Um, so I was a little slow start. But, but that'll happen. Oh, yeah, for sure. But this time you get to go on the play if you'd like. I think I'll blank. <laughs> I'm going to just think about my sideboard for a second. <laughs> yeah, I should probably think about mine. Though I don't know if I've changed anything. Yeah, I don't really mess with it too much. Also, my sideboard is not really great. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to run this. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking at it, but not doing it. Well, sometimes like I'll replace the claim the firstborn if they're not running like low cost creatures. Yeah. But it seems like your stuff is usually We're stealing. Yeah, yeah. We're stealing. Dude, I don't know, man. If you're I guess like white weenie deck, like if there's a ton of low cost creatures, then that, that would be like less effective. Yeah. But Yeah. Yeah, I mean I have some cards too that will like it. sacrifice it to like kill another one, which is kinda nice. Oh, well played. Well played. Alright, alright. Yeah. Okay, we're going to game two. He was in control of that one pretty much the T to B. But that's, you know, how it goes. Not even sleeve on your sideboard, huh? No, I'd have to take some stuff out. I mean, I just re sleeved this, like, just before I got here, so I'm, I'm like, doing what I can. I was a bit worried when the Chandra came out. Yep. Go to But not for long. <laughs> well, yeah, because I was able to borrow your board for a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you copy a spell, um, like with Kiki Jiki, does it technically like count as casting a spell with no mana cost? It it creates a token copy of a creature. So. Right. So it's like, but it's an activated ability. It's not like yeah. you cast a spell for for no mana. Yeah, it's yeah. a one cost activated ability. I was thinking about Royal Invoitex. I think it like makes a little sense. Maybe. Um, player casts a spell with no mana was spent to cast uh, to cast that spell. Royal Invoitex just field five damage to you. Like, oh yeah, I don't have no mana spells. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I don't think that fits. But yeah. you know, I am just figuring out my sideboard, so <laughs> not worried about that. Yeah. I'm just happy that uh, this deck is now together, really. I made a bunch of changes from the last time. It was like more of the basic one you get in the box, and now it's less basic. It's got more. Oh, is that the one, like, red deck wins deck? Yeah, the one that they came red out with, like, I don't know if it was last year or six months ago or something. But, yeah, that was, it was the last one they came out with. Yeah. But now it mostly swapped out from just about, yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. Let's just see if I had a little bit of a swifter draw instead of um, so mana heavy. First two draws oh, yeah. on the like, I had like plenty of land in hand, and I was like mana, mana, and I was like, oh boy. Yeah, you had a lot of lands out. They served me well. <laughs> no, I, right, that's got to be enough. Yes, I will take all of the portables. All right. That was pretty good. I don't have way Game two. There you go. Good luck. Me too. What's this card? Oh shoot, this was a card that wasn't in my sideboard. I just forgot to shuffle it in. Uh, let me shuffle it in and you could try cutting it a time. Sure. Yeah. Sorry. Judge! I, I can't play with 59 cards. Oh no. That, that's funny. I don't know if that's actually like... I, I bet you... I'm, I'm not that serious. I don't care. Um, but uh, I bet you that would probably be like one of those tiny rules that people like jump on. Maybe. I mean, tech, has the game technically started yet? Yes. Ah, well, never mind that. <laughs> No, 
I guess we, we, we were at, at a good stopping point. Good, I noticed now instead of later. No, you're fine, dude. Oh, okay. If, you, if we had played a single card, maybe, but no, we hadn't. So you're fine. I haven't even seen my cards yet. Me neither. That's good. Uh, I guess this is okay. You keeping? Not quite. Okay. Yeah, I got pitched. One lander. One lander, and I'm glad I drew, didn't. I was like just seeing if like was that would it, would that have been smart to to have mulliganed, and the answer was yes on yeah. that one lander. I mean, I feel like my hand isn't great, but if I feel like if I mulligan, I'll never see these cards again. So mm. yeah, I was happy with the ones I had. I mean, yeah. you have seven or six good cards, and then one land. <laughs> so you're yeah, the hand looks good other than the land. Yeah, I ain't sweating it. It's pretty low cost, so you shouldn't be afraid to mulligan, in my opinion. That's fair. Okay. We'll see if that gives me a little bit better luck. Yo, it'll play. All right. Um, and I will throw back this one. All right, I'm on the play. Yep. Play a mountain. Oh, no. Yeah, right. I play a lot of commander, so I was like, wait, did I miss my card? No. All right, play mountain, tap it. I'll play Kamano. Yeah, I'll flip it around. All right, I'll go to 19. Oh, you forgot to flip them before you shuffled? Just that one. I flipped uh, the other one. I or, did I have two? I think I did. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, I'll draw. Yep. Play Bloodfell Caves, go back to 20. And I'll pass. Cool. I'll tap draw. Over to to 4.2. That's what I've replaced. Yeah. Add ticks to two, of course. Oh, it does. Um, I built Play my mountain. rig right after tap. Play my Swift Spear. So it's a 2 3. Yep. And all I did since then was add a 9 7. Yeah. Swing in. For two. two. Right, so I'll go to 18. Then I will play. Tap this. Play Light Up the Stage. Exile top two cards in my library until the end of the next turn. I can play those cards. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want to play that before you attacked? No, for the spectacle cards. Oh, I see. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I needed to do the damage first. Oh, yeah. I, I'm not super familiar with spectacle, so. So it has. you have to take damage. Yes, I now to, realize that. Yes, yes, yes. You're good. So I got another Kamano and a Mountain. That'll work. Okay, and you can play that until next turn. That. The yep. next turn, I guess. <laughs> That lets you play it in for the next... Until next turn. Okay. Yes. And then next turn. So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool, right, cool. So that seems pretty good. It is good. Light up the stage, keeps it moving, and helps with the card draw. My hand, on the other hand... Would this one die from the... I'll just play a swarm. And I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, so with this minus one, minus one... Draw. I will play this mountain. Okay. And this goes to three. Mm -hmm. I was playing like before I remember the trigger. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. So when a creature. Yep, this guy does. Combat phase? Yeah, yes. Alright, I'm going to pay two mana to stomp your dude, the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Dead. Yep. Cool. And I will still do the attack with okay. the monster's whisper. I'll go to 16 then. Cool. Yeah. I will do one to light up the stage again. Oh. Uh, so Good stuff. Tap one to get out Kamano. 
before that disappears. Okay, and I'll take a damage. Mm -hmm. And I'll tap one more. Play Soul Scar Mage. Okay. Now I'm in a turn. Right. Draw my card. <laughs> How many cards do you have in hand? Just one. But I guess you have those two. That... Pseudo in hand. <laughs> yeah, but you could just stomp whatever I throw out. That's true. What's this guy do? He has prowess. And then if oh, I, if he I deals I... damage in 1-1 one, one counters. Or minus 1, minus 1. Okay. If a source I control will deal non-combat damage to a creature. So if I cast like Stomp on yeah. a creature, it would be two negative negative ones. Yeah, that's pretty strong actually. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'll play a Swamp. And uh, I think I'm going to Stomp him. Okay. Stomp it up. Yep, yep, for two mana. And then I will pass. Okay. Untap. Draw. So, this will go to two. Yep, yep, you're fine. I probably should have done something else for my turn, but you're fine. You're fine. I'm just I've already talking. started. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just talking to myself. I'm just like, <laughs> okay. well, that was a mistake. Why'd I do that? That's okay. You're already a game up. Yeah. So I'll play a mountain. And then I will tap two. We'll do a stomp to face. Mm -hmm. So that'll trigger prowess. And then I will tap another two. Play the Eidolon of Great Revel. And it, gets, it comes in with a counter from Kamano. Sure. So this is a three, four swing in. All right. So I will take damage to 12. Where is that? There. To you? Yep. Or did you stomp me? Or To face, yeah. Oh, okay, I think I didn't take that damage. Oh, okay. Or did I? I? I don't even remember. But all right. I'll untap. Okay. Those having three health is kind of difficult to deal with. What's this one do? Uh, whenever a player casts a spell uh, with CMC three oh, or less, that's then pretty, you take two damage. That's uh, me taking a lot of damage, I'm saying now. <laughs> um, Eidolon's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll play, a, yeah, I'll play a mountain for my turn. And then... Well, one, two, three. Actually, maybe I should use this instead of this. I'm gonna play one of the Bone Crusher Giants out. Okay. Uh, two damage. Yep. So I go to eight damage, or eight health, and I will pass to you. Okay. Untap. Draw. <laughs> and this will flip over. I had lethal. I had it there. I got the Yeah. I was like, yeah, I think that would kill me. It would. Oh, yeah, the sagas say after draw step. So. We finally read the card. Yeah, that's the one card I sideboarded into the deck. I was just nice. It's like, hopefully I draw it. Yeah. Yeah. And you got it in pool. Tap in. Yeah, that one is. that's so cool. To play Kamano. That's a lot of Kamanos in one game. <laughs> it is. You're getting them all right now. Like all oh, three, three or four. Oh no. Um, and that'll trigger prowess. Yep. So I'll be swinging in for three and three. Yeah, I really want to play mono black, but it's, um, it's yeah, the price yeah, that's keeping me so like all this stuff. So if, maybe if I open more of And two. Pressure, Swing it in for all of them. Okay. Um, I'll block the one that pings me for damage. Cool. And they'll kill each other. Yeah. I guess this is actually exiled because of Kumano. Right. And so you're taking 
Um, five damage? Yeah, this was three and two, so five damage. Okay, so I'm at two health. Cool. All right, then I will tap two and stomp you. Oh my gosh, All right, good game. <laughs> Let's go. Red deck doing it, baby. <laughs> that was a bounce back game if I ever had one. Off a mulligan. Off a mulligan. I should have mulligan. Felt good. Sometimes it's, I mean, I guess you hate to lose off on a mulligan, but. Um, yeah, feels like it. you're you're putting that at a disadvantage. Or well, yeah, especially if you don't have much card draw. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, see the light up the stages kept that alive. True, true. And you had uh, two of them that one, well, back to back turns, I guess. Yeah. I uh, fired the first one off, and then the next card I draw was the the next one. I was like, all right. I got lucky in the first game when I um, did the exile card and I only had one mana up and it happened to be a Kamano. I was like, hey, I can play it. <laughs> That's funny. Though I don't, you don't probably run too many expensive cards, I guess. Probably the Giant's the most no. expensive. At three. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you could pay two for him. Yeah. Though I am curious how, like, because he goes from exile to exile from the adventure, right? Yeah. Which is kind of funny to think about. But does he, yeah. So you play the you play the adventure, he gets exiled and then he comes back out. Well, no, because he, he was exiled from Light Up the Stage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So exiled from exile. To, yeah, 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 yeah. So he, from Good exile point. to a different exile. exile. So yeah, magic's not at all. <laughs> Let's go. Game three. Bounced back. No, he had a bit of a slower start, and I did mono red things. Did mono red things. It was great. <laughs> I shouldn't have kept uh, my hand. It was too slow. And I didn't have any of the claim the firstborns. Oh, dude, that card savaged me in game one. Yeah, and I Are had... you running four of them? I am, actually. All Japanese? Well, yeah, they were the... <laughs> well, actually, they might be. It's the only copy I could find, like, in paper around here. So. Oh, sure. And I'm also running four Mayhem Devils that are also Japanese, just because they were, like, a quarter of the price. I have this, uh, I think it's like Behold the Unspeakable, and it's a saga, but it's in Japanese, <laughs> and it is just the longest card yeah, I've ever a seen. A lot of words you have so to explain. Many. Yeah, I have not ever played it, but I like it. It's a beautiful card. I was watching some guy play on NTG online, so it's just like. I think we're the last game. What? I think we're the last game. Yeah. Third I round. I feel like that was the case after game two, also. I think everyone's playing like fast decks. If I had to guess. Yeah, and I, you know, I needed, I needed some time after that first game to really collect myself. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> okay. That's enough times. Give me something good. Good luck. You too. I'll be on the play. Yeah. Um. Um. I'll try to keep this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, then I'll start with Bloodfell Caves. Go to twenty-one. Okay. Pass. Cool. Mountain. Come on, all right. Got a twenty. All right. That blood-filled caves. <laughs> all right. Draw my card. Play a mountain. Tap. Play cauldron familiar. I go to twenty-one, and you go to nineteen. Ooh. Yep. When it enters, yep. it just basically drops. Yeah, yeah, I like it. One, two, three years down the road. And I could sacrifice a food and token to bring it back. Yeah. That was the part I was reading. Yep, yep. Thank you. And then I'll tap Mountain, play Witch's Oven. And then I'll pass to you. That's a really solid card for th for this. Like it's, yeah, I, I, don't, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's circumstantial, but if you have it, you're you're there. 
Yeah, it's a little more okay. Okay. than it Ticks up to two. Yeah. Play the ruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That helps you buy some of the more. Yeah, I can now justify it. That's what I like to tell myself anyway. I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna take one damage to make this a mountain. Okay. Go to 18. Yeah. I'll play the idol. It's probably the with a counter. It's kind of I don't know. It's just interesting. Okay. And that's for casting spells. Yes. All right. Uh, at your end step, I'm going to tap this, sacrifice this for a food token, and then I'm going to sacrifice the food token, bring him back. So I'm going to go to 22 health, and you can go to 70. That's brutal. All right, and then I'm going to... I'm going to get chewed alive. Untap, draw. All right. I'm going to tap a mountain, play Witch's Oven. <laughs> Um, I'm going to tap this, play another Cauldron Familiar. I'll go to 23, you go to 16. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, uh, uh, do you take two? Yeah, I do take two. So. Um, do you take two for both of these? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Okay. Well, no, so it's four. So it's two yeah, and two. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I forgot. I was just excited putting them out in the field. No, no, they're exciting. I'm just, yeah, yeah. I'm just, these triggered, yes. Yes, yes, okay, yeah, you're right. And I'll, uh, I could swing with one, but I'm not going to, so I'll pass. Okay. And that's a 3-3 right now, huh? That is a 3-3 right now. And then this will flip. And I already know what you're going to do to me, but I'm going to keep going anyways. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think... Could I, like, react before that flips over? No. No? Because I'm realizing... It's like my draw step and then it flips over. Oh, it's a saga. I see. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just realized that I don't want these to die. I can... What? You have instant speed spells. You can cast it in a draw step. Ah, can I do that at your draw step? Yes. Yeah, because I would like to sacrifice these for two health and bring them back. Give us because I basically I I drew and flipped over my saga and that's all well, I did. So like the can, saga flips over. Well, it flips draw. over at the beginning of your main phase. So so if he wants to stop you in your draw step, he can. The saga enters, um, and after your draw step, add a lower counter. So draw step happened. I added a lore counter and flipped it over, and now he wants to reverse it back. Well, I, I very much not like that happen. I, I just want to sacrifice my cats so they don't get exiled and bring them back. You know. Yeah. Sure. You can stop in upkeep or draw step. Oh, okay. Because um, that is I, that is legal. Okay. Because I realize now that like I would be over. missing out. The draw step happened and it's over. Well, like the that. pace is okay. always determined by the non-active player. Yeah, yeah. So if he doesn't want you to go to your main phase, then you don't go to your main phase yet. Okay. So before you go to main phase, what would you like to do? Oh, okay. I, I I wanted to sacrifice the cats or at least one of them, twice to bring him back twice. Get the food token, bring him back. Food token, back. Then get to 21 health. And you to 14 health. Right. Um, yes. But I didn't want him to be out on the field yet because that would exile him. And I, I'm not sure that it would exile him. Because if a creature dealt damage this turn by a source, oh, I control okay. it. Oh, okay. Okay, I thought exile it was. Exile it instead. I thought it was significantly. So that if I damage it, I can exile it. Okay. I, I thought it was a different effect where it would just exile if something. It doesn't change everything oh, okay. that goes to graveyard into well, exiling. Well, then I guess that doesn't really... About nothing. Well, I mean, it, when it happens, yeah, it's yeah, important, yeah. No, no, I no, guess. It's, it's but... a good thing. Okay, so I go to 14? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No problem. But I guess uh, now they can't be blockers, and I could... Ooh. Well, I, I made this big deal already, so I feel like I should at least let you do five damage to me. It'd only be gentlemanly of you. Yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> Well, fine, fine. You can do that five damage if you would like. All right. Let's I was, see what happens. Normally, I would sacrifice them. I would declare them as blockers, then sacrifice them. Right. But then I wasn't sure what would go on with that dude. So now I made a whole thing without... Okay. That's fine. We're fine. Okay. So I will swing in for five. Okay. I'll just take five damage. Cool. Go to 16. I'll tap one mountain. 
play also, Light of the Stage. Cool, also oh, now I'm regretting everything. Yeah, gold space rooms are a lot. I mean, you could also respond to the triggered ability of the, the counter going on it. The basic, um, yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Or for the exiles and comes yeah, back, right. respond to that too. Yeah, yeah. like there's plenty uh, of opportunities for you to do what you wanted to do. Yeah, I just yeah. I, chose yeah. Option, yeah. I, just, I chose the worst option because I didn't know what Kumano did. You're good. Exactly. Um, more cardboard. <laughs> I will. So uh, when I played Light Up the Stage, I take two damage from the idol. Oh, because it's anybody. Really? Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I'm kind of behind in health, and so that's not really doing me a ton of favors at the oh, okay. moment. Because, like, really, it's like I want to have you slightly le war less than me, and then I can red out, you know. That's fair. But, you know, that happened. So that's why I'm, that's what I'm debating right now if I want to play this, because I'm going to just take two more damage. Or anything else I'm freaking doing here. No, yeah, just uh, get rid of the, the dude. That's true. I, uh, if you want to sack and steal him, go for it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would like, be a lot of life. I would be I dedicating to doing that. No, I know. I'll, I mean, this is... This, you you get to exile like my cats. Like, I don't the, know. The I would cat least, would be gone forever. That's that's the only real upside. Yes. Is, is that I can't... Is I would cut off half your combo. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Not Take combo, one from that. Play with fire. We'll pick the first cat. Okay. And that deals two damage to you? Yeah. I'm not winning this game, but we're going to play it out. I, I think you're doing all right. To you. All right. Untap. Draw a card. Well. Normally. I think I'll just tap a mountain, play another witch's oven. <laughs> and so you can do that three times now? Yes. I'm actually wondering now, like, if I had this, like, could I declare it as a blocker? Well, actually, that would probably only work once. Because I'm wondering if I could do that multiple times, but no, it's probably just one stage where you declare blockers. But I'll go to combat phase and swing with the cat. Okay. Yep. Uh, we'll take the one. Yep. And then... So you, wait, I do you, take two yeah, damage from that. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. No, no. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. not going to really matter, but... Yeah. And I'll, uh, I'll pass it to you. Okay. Actually, yeah, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you can keep stop, stop starting me. Okay. Just let me know when you go to combat phase, I guess. Sure. Where's Garrison? Um. Uh, is he playing? Yeah. He's playing Spurs today. Okay. That's the only real move I <laughs> mirror. got. Mirror. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Play the mirror match again. Just to hit it with a lightning bolt. I'm going to sack it in response for a food token. And then. I'll sacrifice the food token yeah, to bring him back. Too. Okay. What? Yes. Yeah, I believe you. Spirits? Good game. Okay. I was like, I, I, because I dealt damage to it, I was hoping it would just get straight exiled, but I mean, oh, yeah. you can sack instantly. Yeah, I could sack so, it as a response. What, sack? what can you do? Oh good game. Yep, good game. Yeah. Sideboard the, artifact. Sideboard oh, artifact oh, removal. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, well, I did have three of them I, out. I, I don't so. know, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, it's like it wouldn't have saved me. Yeah. Three, three of them, though. Like, that's, that's, pretty, <laughs> oh, exactly. that's pretty fortunate. That's how like, the first game kind of went, and then the yeah, second game he didn't so have that, and, and then so, you know. Yeah, I didn't have the cat the first game either, so I was just sacrificing your things instead. So the combo was, like, you know, not as brutal in the game. Yeah. I played a nasty rack sack at that tournament that I went to. It's it was, brutal. Yeah. Because you can't, oh, it just feels like you can't do anything. Right. Like, every, I tried every, to just eliminate it, and he's like, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I don't even know what, what you would do. 